Hey LEGO fans and welcome back to MB Bricks. Today we are looking at part 5 of my Building Jurassic Park series. If you like this build series, be sure to leave a like and a comment below, as well as hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to see updates to this project when they are posted on Fridays. This week I have continued building along the tour path and we have arrived at the T-Rex enclosure. So without further ado, Let's take a closer look at this build. This week I have recreated another iconic scene from the movie, and one that I have actually already completed before as one of my first Jurassic Park builds, the T-Rex Paddock. As the tropical storm hits the island, the tourists head back towards the visitor center. The moment they were traveling past the T-Rex enclosure, Nedry turns off the power grid to steal the dinosaur embryos, and the electric cars are stalled on the track. Through the fence, the children notice that the goat is missing. T-Rex herself finally makes an appearance, cutting through the now dead electrical fence. The tour vehicles I have previously made several years ago and have been reused for many mocks. For this build, I decided to remake the cars using some of the newer printed tiles for the logo and still incorporating the red and green stripes throughout the vehicle as well as the floodlights. I really wanted to make this car a bit smaller as I felt my original design was a bit too big for the minifigure scale. I am really happy with how this new design came out considering I'm not a car builder. After inspecting and destroying one of the tour vehicles, Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm attempt to save the children from the T-Rex, trapped in the car by setting off flares. The T-Rex follows Ian, chasing him and smashing through the washroom, leaving him injured under the wreckage and revealing the hiding lawyer. Alan, in the meantime, rushes to save the kids from under the crushed car. The landscaping for this section continues to use the dark green for the main base and olive green for the accents, as this was a stormy scene in the movie. I use similar tree designs as previous sections with this new addition in the corner. I use these curly grass stems hanging down, which I thought was a really cool design that I first saw on a Brick Dreamers channel. I will link his channel below if you want to see some of his designs. As the section grew, I began mixing in some regular green to change back to less stormy scenes in the build. And that covers everything for this part 5 of Building Jurassic Park. Up next, I will be continuing the tour along here to reach the trike paddock. If you would like to see previous parts of this build series, please check the description for a link to a playlist of other parts on my channel. If you want to see more Jurassic themed builds not included with this series, there will also be a link to that playlist as well. If you haven't already, please do subscribe as it helps this channel out a lot. Thanks so much for checking out this video today, and until next time, keep on building!